Hey man, we out here for our people, man. We are the battle axes of the most high. Won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. people, so guess what? All right, all right, cool. We can wake the hell up. That's right. That's brother right. with the cup, brother with the hat on, brother with the dreads. What's your nationality, brother? Come deal with me. You believe in the Bible, brother? Why not, brother? Can you talk? What is this on the wagon of the hands, brother? You believe in the Bible? I can talk, but I can't. I can't fight with somebody that's already telling me what's right. And I the know Bible tells fact. you what's right. They lie. You, do you believe in the Bible? You ain't talking about the Bible. I'm talking about what I do. Well, guess what? We're speaking the words of the Most High God. Give that's me First right. Peter four and eleven. Bring it out. So that's why I ask you: Do you believe the Bible? Do I you? Believe, I believe in Romans. I believe in the book. I don't about it. Like which one? You say Romans? And what else? That's it. What in Romans do you believe? Because there's a lot of good stuff in Romans. But guess what? You gotta eat the whole roll, bro. That's right. 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 You know? They tell you how you got this shit, they tell you why you doing shit, and they tell you how you get on, how you gonna act when you get out of it. But guess what? The whole Bible tells you that, bro. That's right. right. That's the whole That's thing. Right. It's some uh, details that guess what go into uh, Deuteronomy that they don't tell you in Rome. So you need to read the whole thing. So when I was in jail, uh -huh. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. And then everybody kept telling me, "Come join the, uh, come join the, the what? Something. It was the, it was something it was that, that Muslims. Because I know a lot of our people go into the Islam. other race. They were Mexican. Uh huh. They were running a Bible study. Right, right, right. Because right, right. right. guess what? The Bible was this thick. Some books are thick because guess what? They yeah. had shit we ain't never heard of. Well, guess what? This, yes, I'm glad that you pulled this out. This, we got our brother Issachar, we got the books that they done took out. This is called the Apocrypha, brother. That's right. It's probably the book that they had, brother. Because right. a lot of times, even in Catholicism, they have these in their Bible, brother. That's right. But you wouldn't even speak to this man if you didn't need him for something. No, I would because this is my brother. That's right. I I probably would. Because I read the Bible. That's I because you're not would. reading the whole Bible, bro. That's right. Also, he's not a woman. He don't, he's That's not a woman. Out. Hold up. Who you say? That's it. No. What you say? Because hold up. I'm dealing with my brother. He's like, you're going to get your judgment, but I'm dealing with my brother. Because what's your nationality according to the Bible? Look on this sign, brother. Which one of these tribes would you be? Your father, so-called African-American? No. That's what I'm asking. What is your father? So-called African-American? Or what? I wouldn't know. I would be Levi at this point. Oh, praise, Levi. brother. So guess what? Y'all were the lawgivers, brother. We just read that in the book of Malachi, brother. Uh -huh. It was your job to guess what? Teach the nation of Israel God's law, statutes, and commandments, right. man. Right. Y'all were a set-apart people, man. A holy people, brother. That's right. But the most high God brought y'all down the lowest, brother. Because guess what? Y'all was held in so high of a scene. Give me that in Leviticus chapter 20, verse 26. Bring it out. So guess what? It's a lot of things in here that you don't understand that we can teach you to give you a better understanding, brother. Read this. Right? That's what I was talking about. Chapter 20 and verse 26. Yo. And ye shall be holy unto me. So guess what? It was your job to be holy unto the most high God, brother. That means separate. So whatever the other nations and other races are doing, we're not to do those things. That's right. God gave us set apart laws, brother. Hold it. What is this? Now this right here, I'm gonna tell you, this ain't nothing good but for toilet paper. That's, That's right. right. Because Catholicism is white supremacy. That's, That's right. right. That is what the so-called conquistadors forced on my brothers when they came over here That's and right. conquered in 1482. That's right. That's right. They conquered in Force Catholicism on our people right. just like they forced Christianity on the Negroes. Bro. That's right. That's right. All these religions, God never made religion, brother. Right. He only gave the children of Israel laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Like that. Chapter 34, verse 16. Break it out. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Of what? Of the, the Lord, Lord and read. read. The Bible says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. It That's just right. tell you the book of Romans, brother. Read on. No one of these shall fail. Because the Bible is full of prophecies, brother. You right. like being up on current news, right? That's you like knowing right. the future, don't you? You don't like knowing else. That's right. Guess what? When it talks about that, the Bible is nothing but full of prophecies, brother. Right. Telling you things that's going to come to pass in the future, brother. That's so right. you need to know these things. Right. When it says no one of these shall fail, meaning what? No one of these prophecies shall fail, brother. We don't. That's right. None. 
shall want her mate. Yeah, exactly, all of them. But even uh, a lot of them, these are brothers that are falling. Right. You understand me, brother? Because give me that Zechariah 11 and 5. Now, yeah. leave it alone. Let me, hey. let me see quick. We got it. So, I'm going to give you a prophecy concerning this right quick, brother. And I'm going to see if you can relate to that thing, man. Zechariah chapter uh, 11 and verse 5. I'm going to see if you can relate. Because guess what? The Bible was written thousands of years ago. That's right. right. Zechariah was doing the... Uh, uh, Persian and me captivity, which is 528 BC. Read this, huh? The book of Zechariah, chapter 11, and verse 5. Uh -huh. Whose possessions were slaves. Now, hold on, I want you to listen to this. And hold themselves not guilty. It says, whose possessors slay them. So the so called white man owns so called Negroes, right? That's right. It says, whose possessors slay them. So when the police kill our people, what is the verdict that always comes back most of the time? Do they get see? That's why he had to walk away. Because guess what? He don't bear witness with his spirit. He know it's his people that are killing us in the streets. He know these things. What's your, what's your father? What's your father? My mom is albino African American. See, you see what I said when I came over here? Oh, first, my bad. You can't, you can't. You can't learn from somebody that's telling you something that's right in their mind. You can't learn from it. You can't win. You can't I want you to get the point, though. Go back to Zechariah 11 and 5. So this Check is a prophecy. Read this. Out. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11 and verse 5. Whose yeah. possessors slay them. Whose possessors kill them. Read on. And hold themselves not guilty. So when they go to court, most of the time the verdict is what? Not guilty, bro. So have, ain't this been happening to our people? So-called blacks and Mexicans? This is a prophecy, so we knowing that, guess what? That prophecy didn't fail. That's right. These things are steady happening to us. That's right. And it's much more police killings that they're not showing on YouTube that's and right. on the news and that's so right. forth. That's you have to really right. dig these things up. That's right. So that's only one prophecy that's just came to pass, brother. This is something that you need to listen to, brother. Read right. this, huh? And they that sell them say, bless be the Lord. And did the so-called white man sell us in captivity? Did he sell us? Yes. And they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord. Because they actually thinking that the Most High God is dealing with them. But you won't find that in the Bible, read That's on. That's right. For I am rich. For they are rich. Because I was a miracle created off the backs of so-called blacks and Hispanics. That's right. right. They got over 600 years of free slave labor. That's why it's the top right. nation on the planet Earth, man. Right. But you thinking that the Most High God is not a righteous God, that they're not going to be judged for that? Right. Yes, the Most High God is going to fill a cup double. Read on up. And their own shepherds pity them not. And our own shepherds, meaning our own leaders, pity us not, bro. That's right. So guess what? Bro, pay attention, brother. Because he's saying he's uh, Mexican, but guess what? He's bearing the spirit of Esau. That's right. Away That's, right. Word, That's, That's right. That's right. That's right. Bro, listen to me, brother. Listen to the word. Because you gave me this, brother. Are you reading this, brother? You need to be reading the Bible, brother. That's right. Because guess what? Is you a God or you a God fearing man? Are you a God fearing man? Brother with the cup. Brother with the cup. Are you a God fearing man? Give me first Peter 4 and 11. Bring it up. Bring it up. The book of 1 Peter 4 and 11. Get up. Because I know you've been over there sitting for a while, brother. Listen, man. Nah, nah, yeah. You know we're going to deal with you. Read on. If any man speak, let him speak. As the oracles of God. See, I'm not speaking my own words. I'm speaking the words of the Bible. It's just new to you because pastors not reading these scriptures that we bring out. Read on. If any man minister, see, we ministering to the people. Read on. Let him do it as of the ability which God giveth. Let him do it as of the ability which God giveth. So guess what? We're reading. Thus saith the Lord. Read on. That God in all things. That God in some things. That God in all things. Uh huh. May be glorified. See, guess what? We seeking God's glory. We're not seeking our own glory, or right. man's glory, or my pastor pork chop glory, bro. So this is how this is totally different from anything you have ever heard, brother. Because the most high God is just now waking us up from this deep sleep that he right. put us in, bro. That's right. So it bears witness with your spirit, but you got to learn to apply these commandments, brother. What questions you got? So what did you learn out of this? Did they teach you your nationality, brother? I didn't go. I just happened to see the doors open. And those those Catholic churches, all those big they they're Guess they're what? Our doors are open right now, bro. That's never right. Open. This right. is church down here, bro. That's right. And the most high God is trying to bring right. you in, bro. That's right. He's trying to bring you in, trying to right. wake you up from that dead estate that he in. Him talking about he's you know what I seen? Go ahead. I seen 
a, a, a wooden white door that looks just like this, uh -huh. but it's inside. Mm -hmm. I, walked up about, I walked up about three flights of stairs and said, don't look inside unless you're ready to see. For real. Now we got to tell you, brother, you know, we don't deal in idols because the Most High God speaks through his prophets, bro. That's right. Yeah. So right now, the Most High God is talking to you right now through the scriptures, bro. That's through right. the prophets, man. Give me Amos chapter 2, verse 11. Bring it out. This is how he speaks to you, brother. But are you going to listen, brother? And are you going to apply? That's the key, brother. Give me Amos chapter 2, verse 11. That's the whole thing, bro. Because a lot of times our people love wickedness more than righteousness, man. You got to listen, brother. Give me right. James chapter 1, verse 8, all right? 1, verse 19. Got it. Uh, Amos chapter 2, verse 11. Yeah, James 1 and 19. To this man, because guess what? You gotta come up out of these religions, bro. Sometimes I'm not really, I'm not in a religion. I stopped. That's going good. To, I stopped going to church because they said you a Christian, you a Christian, you a Christian, you in this Christian church. I said yeah. no, I'm not. <laughs> now guess what? I don't want to be labeled. I don't want no number. I don't even want no social security well, card. You, for that, for that matter, you don't. You want to be I'm labeled the right thing? God labels exactly. you. But he labels you the best thing on the planet Earth. That's right. right. The so-called white man don't label you what you are according to the That's Bible. Right. He's giving you a byword and a proper and a brief. I can't forget. I can't forget. Hey, I can't forget but two, I can't, and I can't get out. You know, and I raised up That's your no, sons no, no, for a prophet. For what? For a prophet. So the Most High God raised us up for prophets to teach the word. Read on. And your young men for Nazarite. Read on. Uh. Is it not even thus? O ye children of Israel. So the children of Israel are the prophets. Read on. Say it the Lord. Say it who? Say it the Lord. Lord. That's said the Lord, brother. So if he's telling you anything, he's telling you out of his mouth, which is the Bible, brother. That's right. Read this out. The book of James, chapter 1, and verse 19. Uh huh. Word for my beloved. My be what? My, my beloved. beloved. You are the beloved of the Most High God, brother. Read on. My beloved, brother. Let every man be swift to hear. So we gotta be swift to hear, brother. Read on. Slow to speak. Slow to speak, read on. Slow to wrath. And slow to wrath. Because the most high God is trying to talk to you. But you gotta be able to hear that thing, brother. Hey, God. You got to read this. Book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 12. Bring it out. Oh. My people ask their counsel. Who is like it? What you want? I know, 4, verse 10. So uh, no. Read this, huh? The book of uh, Hosea. Chapter 10 and 12, so like it. The book of Hosea, chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. Read up! So to yourselves and write. Uh huh, read on. Read in mercy. Read that again from the top, huh? So to yourselves and write. Brother, the word so means to plant, brother. That's you right. You be trying to plant God's laws into your spirit. So unto yourself righteousness. Righteousness, according to the Bible, is God's laws, statutes, and commandments, brother. Right. Read on. Right. Break up your hollow box like your follow ground. It says break up your follow ground, meaning weak foundation, brother. So guess what? You got to come up uh, out of all those things that you done learned, come back to the true understanding of the Bible, brother. Read on. For it is time to seek the Lord. Read that again up. Huh? For, For it, it is, is time, time to, to seek, seek the Lord. Lord. It's time to seek the Lord, brother. Read on. Till he come and rain righteousness upon you. That when he come, he shall rain righteousness upon you. That's a good precept, huh? So you understand what we dealing with? You got any questions, bro? You should have some questions, bro. No, I'm gonna step into the to the talk. I, I don't have no questions. Just listening? No, I'm just I'm hearing. So I'm glad because they done taught us a lot of wickedness up in those damn churches. Like they teach us what day do they go to church on. I never have been to a church until I was about 11, 12. Shit, all praise, bro. When I was about 7, 7, 8, sitting down in the living room. In the living room, uh -huh. I was speaking to my Uncle Jude. So say this to this Tell word, sis. Why, why I had you to. Believe you believe in the Bible? Bible? You believe in the Bible? If you believe in the word, hey, his sheep hear his voice. That's right. And they know him. You believe in the Bible? You believe in Christ? That's the word. So come and listen to the word, sis. Because you ain't supposed to be buying and selling on today. That's right. So there's no buying and selling, but you won't know that if you won't come and stay and listen. No, today is the Sabbath. I am a seven-day Adventist, so I do uh, recognize okay. today now, being the Sabbath. Where? So in the Bible. Outside, don't you know that was founded by a white man named uh, James T. Russell? Bring it out, Doc. Guess what? Don't you know that God never created religion? 
You won't read nowhere in the Bible where it says be a seven day adventure. Right. But right. you will read in the Bible where it tells you keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Give me Baruch chapter four, verse one. You got to come up out of those religions, sis. Those religions are nothing but white supremacy, sis. Right. 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 Uh, this is the book of Baruch chapter four and verse one. Uh -huh. yeah. This is the book of the commandments of God. No, the book of seven day adventures. Of, of the commandments of God. Well, the Bible is the book of the commandments of God. The so-called white man stole the Bible and made religions out of it That's to right. control the masses. That's you know? right. And the law that endured forever. And the book that endured forever. And the law that endured forever. Well, guess what? God's laws endured forever because guess what? They're not teaching you God's laws up in there. They use that as a title to swindle you up in there, but then they teaching you all type of false doctrines. That's right. So forth. That's right. right. But God, the, the one true God is telling you to guess what? Acknowledge your nationality. That's right. Up in Seven Day Adventures, they're not teaching you that you're a child of the Most High God. That's right. They teaching that what everybody is a child of God. Is everybody a child of God? That's the thing. You got to learn these things. Right. Give me that in Romans chapter seven and nine and verse seven. Listen right. to this. Bring it out. Bring because it out. We're we'll answering these questions easily. This is what they're not doing, and they won't do right. it because guess what? They want to keep you in sin, sis. That's right. That's right. Because don't is they teaching you that you shouldn't wear pants tonight? No. Yes, yeah, they're not. See? Because guess what? They're not ordained of God. Give me Deuteronomy twenty two and five. Bring it out. It's the Book of Romans chapter nine and verse seven. Bring it out. Neither because. They are the seed of Abraham. Are they the children? It says, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Read on. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. But in Isaac is God's chosen people. Because guess what? Abraham had many sons, right? right, right. You know that old Sunday school church, Father Abraham, Abraham had many sons. You know that. But not all of Abraham's sons are the child of God. That's right. right. They're telling you specifically only Isaac and his lineage is is the children of God. That's read right. That is. That's a good point. Yes, we're reading from the Bible. Romans chapter 9. So in the Bible, it's so you pick and choose what's, what's true and what's not in the book. Say that again, sis. Do you pick and choose what's real and no, what's not in the book? No, you gotta eat the whole right. rule since so, reading That's right. right. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, starting at verse 10. Uh -huh. For a precept must be upon precept. But we're going to a precept to answer your question. That's why you see us flipping back throughout the Bible. You see us flip throughout the whole Bible. Let's get that. Give me, let's read it. Give me that. Psalms chapter 68, verse 1. Let's see what the Bible says. No, give me Exodus chapter 31 and verse 18. Brothers and sisters, you stay where you at. Stay where you at. Let's see who wrote the Bible. You see, any question that you ask, we're going to go to the scripture. That's right. Exodus 31 and 18. Come, this is a book of Exodus chapter 31 and verse 18. And he gave unto Moses. When he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai, uh -huh. two tables of testimony. Two tables of testimony, real. Tables of stone. Tables of stone. Written with the finger of God. Written by who? Written, Written with, with the, the finger, finger of God. God. So who, who wrote the Bible, sis, according to that scripture? Wasn't it a hundred and something books that were in the Bible that were Yes, yes. Do you think Moses was up there for 40 days and 40 nights just to get 10 commandments? That's no, right. he was up there getting over 613 commandments. That's, right. That's right. So why are they no longer? They, guess what? Pull that book back out again. We have the book, sis. That's what we're reading right now. This is what you call the apocryphal, which means hidden books. This is what the so-called white man took out of the Bible. That's right. right. So we do have these books. That's, That's what right. we're trying to teach you, sis. Yeah, Read this. Yeah. We can get you one, but you got to come to class. Read That's this right. again. So who wrote the Bible, sis? From what I understand, uh -huh. you know, they, you can say, okay, God wrote the Bible, right? But can Moses, I say, now hold on, let's Moses, get this straight right Moses quick. Moses' name is not on that Bible. It's, it said Moses, if God wrote it, right? But when you get in the Bible, it's people's versions of it, right? So it's going to say King James, what? Version, it's going to say such and such because, what? Version, so you know version what, is not what? Give me it's a, not, Isaiah 29. Version ain't facts, right? Okay. Version is their no. speed. When it says that. version, it's going into a different language. You know why? Because what does so Quam, words oh, let me ask you, just come down. in the English uh, let me ask you, language. What does right. Quam Yasharala mean? I don't know what that's right, sis. Yeah. So it has to be written in English for you to right. understand. That's right. Exactly. Because you don't speak a different language. That's right. This, right. this is the book of Isaiah, chapter. Before you read that, though, but once, but isn't it true as well? Not that uh, I totally agree with what yeah. you're saying, but isn't it also true as well that you can uh, 
a saying can change when you when you change the language of it? Yeah, like you're one correct. Thing but does guess not what? Mean These the weren't just the regular language. men. That's right. That's right. That had the That's Bible. That's right. Recited. These were holy men. Read this out. It's a book. You want Isaiah first? Yeah, I want Isaiah first. Con, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, and verse 11. Break it out. For with stammering lips. For with stammering lips. Another tongue, another language, read on. And another tongue. Uh huh. Will he speak to this people? Will he speak to this people? Because guess what? We're not speaking our original language. Do you know what our original language is? It's Hebrew, sis. That's right. Our original language was Hebrew, but we went through many captivities. We went through the Greek captivity. So you have the Greek Septuagint, where they spoke Latin and they spoke Greek. Now we in, guess what? The American captivity, where now they speak English. So the Most High God put it on learned men's spirits, holy men's spirits, so guess what? Have the Bible translated so we can That's be right. able to understand it. That's today. right. Read on. Right. Right. Come, read on. Verse 12. To whom he said that... Uh, read verse 11 again. Oh, so like... Verse 11. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. For with a stammering lips and another language will God speak to this people. Read on. Verse 12. To whom he said, This is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest. Uh huh. And this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. Because guess what? The refreshing is going into the scriptures. Now you have the true understanding of the scriptures. It should be refreshing to you, sis. Because guess what? Our people have been caught up in so many lies. Now give me first Peter. Read this out. Con, this is a book of Second Peter, chapter one and verse twenty. Uh huh. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any, any private interpretation. interpretation. So the scriptures. Don't have a private interpretation. That's right. You use another scripture to interpret that scripture. That's right. That's right. So just like I'm about to ask you, what is love according to the Bible? What do you think love is? Uh, I believe it says love is kind, love is patient. Yes, that's one of them. But let's give you a more plain one. Give me first John five and three. Bring it out. And see if you can accept this. First John five and three. Bring it out. Uh-huh. Read this out. Bring it out. Cause this is plain upon table, sis. Read this. The book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. Yeah, right. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. So according to that scripture, what is love, sis? I, I don't understand. Read it again. It's the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God. That we what? That, that we, we keep his, his commandments. Life. That we do what? That, that we keep his, his commandments. commandments. That we do what? That, that we keep his commandments. So what is love according to the Bible, sis? According to what you're saying, it oh. says that it's, uh, it's his commandment. That's right, sis. That's what love is. See, my so thing that's is, not a problem. I don't disagree. And I, I totally I agree with everything you say. I do motivational speaking, so I completely agree with that. And I love to see black kings out here doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, right. I truly believe that if you want to truly see what God looks like, you look into the eye of a black man. I understand all no, that. No, you I'm look into the Bible because it describes right. him. Okay. But when I say, the, when, when it comes to the Bible, that's something different to me yeah. you know what what what, what i from because what, what i understand is i think I, you think it's a white man's no book? no, no. Oh, go ahead. It, i don't believe it's a white man okay book. i believe that it is it is it is a uh, uh i don't believe that it's supposed to be meant to be as a way to lead us to a certain thing due to the fact that if god was to give us something i don't believe that he would give us something where it is to where you can barely understand it it's almost like looking at something through a peephole but you can't see the full can you picture 13, verse that bring it out he gives you the instructions since a lot of times our people don't get the instructions right, that's with right. knowledge comes power right so then it's just not from that particular book right it'll be from reading other things but getting knowledgeable it has to be God from this building, particular book. Because let me tell you, power, right? this is the only book to tell you how you got into the position that you're in That's right. and how to get out of these positions. Right. It's, it's, out, right. it's telling you us. You know why? It's, it's right. already happened. It's already written. No, it's not because guess what? When did we go into slavery on slave ships? Is we, what year? We've been in slavery. I'm talking about this is before then. Do slavery we, has it, always been something. It has that always been like in the that. Bible, but it's what makes the been. people went into slavery in a particular way that we did? Bring it out. I don't, know any, any, I don't know of any other nations. That's right, but guess yeah. what? The Bible tells us about this. That's, that's right. right. So we're trying to take this class a true book. Wasn't that's that right. the same? Bring it out. No, let me read you. Give me 
me do the Raymond Twin Eight. Bring it out. Let right. me show you something, sis, because it's particular things that only happen to us and no other nation of people reaches out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 28. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with you. So it seemed like you know a little bit of something. What were the children of Israel doing in the land of Egypt, sis? They were what? Slave. That's right. Okay. So hold up. Let me That's make my point. Right. Then let me get you in. Egypt means something. Oh. This is black Africans enslaving black Negroes. You preaching to them. Because the, you, you preaching to We're all the same. You assume that because of I don't agree with everything that you No, I don't. That I I'm, don't agree with I, you. You may be Egypt known by is, your fruits. Egypt is where? In Africa, correct? No, right next Egypt, Egypt is synonymous Egypt for something, of, not that. Egypt means saying, something. But Egypt is a part of what? Africa, correct? So, Listen to me, since you get geographical locations right, mixed right. up with ethnicity. Right. That's, that's right. Because right. you're right. the right. same right. that race of people. I'm that's not right. saying it's that race of people. What I'm saying is it goes back to ethnicity. What you're going to see over there, what's common over there is going to be what you're going to have the Israel that you got the, these people that come from over there, correct? But I'm making a point, correct. sis. I'm making a point. Read this again. So Egypt means something. I want to see if you can catch this, sis. Read this again. And the Lord, so like it, you're running to the age of the eight. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the most high God said he was gonna bring us into Egypt again with ships. Egypt has a meaning in the Bible. Read on. God, uh, uh, read it for you, though. Okay, God. In the book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Uh -huh. out, out of, of the, the house, house of bondage. Out of the house of what? Out, out of the house of bondage. So according to that scripture, what does Egypt mean, sis? It means bondage. It means slavery. So the Most High God said he was going to bring us into Egypt again with ships. That's Meaning right. he was going to bring us into slavery, but again, this time with ships. Bring it Who is the only race of people to go into slavery on slave ships? Bring it out. Right. Some people, what is that? I don't give a so, shit. The point is that the Bible was addressing us. Because right. there's no other race of people to go into slavery on slave ships. Give me the, give me the post. Give me visuals so sister can see it. Right, right. I don't need to see what I'm saying. Everything you're saying is absolutely true. Uh -huh. I'm not disagreeing with it. The only thing that I'm saying is that a lot it's happened. A lot of this is, is really all has happened before. It, it now the slavery is just a different form of slavery. So we if people that. if people believe that because of they're not in chains, that they're not enslaved anymore, then that's dumb thinking. Yes, okay. And also now I would be a fool, right? It, it, you all young black men, smart intelligent. I'm a young Israelite man. That's right. That's right. Knowledge, knowledge, that's knowledge, right. Knowledge, that's right. That's right. That's a byword. Exactly. Okay. You can use all that well and good. But knowledge is power, right? So first thing, when someone tells you something, you should never just run with what they're saying. Yes, we understand. You, you have to go and research these things. You have to research it. And that's good. Right? So by researching, it means that I wouldn't just have, I may have to read a little bit of this. I may have to read a little bit of the Quran. I'm not going to But since right. we're presenting you with that. overwhelming facts, sis, that's right. they that's cannot that's that. be you know disproven. They still that's have right. to be mine. I have to believe it. You telling me and me not believing is two different things. Now guess what, that's since what that comes with that. But guess what, these are overwhelming facts. No other race of people I, went into slavery on slave ships. And I agree, right. and I agree. So this is pinpointing you that guess what, this is our history, sis. Did you do the run with 28 verse 46? Bring it out. It's our history, that's the point. So it was a correct interpretation. Read this, I'm looking through the run, chapter 28. And verse 46, Bring it out. and they shall be upon thee for a son. So when you read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 15, verses, uh, chapter 28, verses 15 through 68, God put the Israelites up on the particular curses to identify us in these last days. That's, right. That's why when you say black man, I say, no, I'm an Israelite That's from right. the tribe of Judah. That's right. Black is a color in the crayon box. That's, right. Right. That's right. a color. That's not a nationality. Read on. And for, a wonder, and for a wonder to wonder why we always on the bottom of society. That's why right. we always get shot down by the police. Right. Why we always in the ghetto. We the strongest, most smartest nation, but we always on the bottom. That's, That's, right. Right. That's right. It's because we break in God's commandments. That's it's right. just that simple. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it up. Bring it up. Because I'm approving. Do you think God cares about what you wear? Yes. Say it again. Yes. Oh, what I you know. say? I know. Okay, now we should approve them with the Bible. Read this out. Point out anything Where right there. I can say anything. It's the book of Deuteronomy. I'll bet you can't. I'll bet you can't read this out. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring this is how we know you're Israelite because once we face with keeping the commandments, our people instantly reject that thing. Read this out. The woman. The who? The, the woman. woman. Read out. 
shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What article of clothing do you wear? Do women wear that pertain to men? That's right, see? Because guess what? Pants is showing off the shape of your body. The shape of your body is only for your husband, sis. Exactly. And it's guess what? It's also for health conditions. So it's an easy law to keep. You can't keep that for your God, sis. If you believe this is our book, this is part of our book, sis. It is. Wake up, bro. So it's a part of our book, but you just don't want to do it. That's right. So what is it? Tell me. Let me know, sis. It's all about me understanding myself. It's knowledge me. I'm the type of person you're not going to piss on me and call it rain. Now, everything that you say, I can agree with. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But I also can disagree with, which also comes with free will. I can listen we to We don't everything. have free will. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Since right. everything was predestined, give me exactly. Let me why, read. why is it predestined though? Give why me is it chapter eight, verse twenty-nine. Because right. it was already written, yeah. meaning that this has already been done. Do you believe in the afterlife? You believe? You believe in heaven, hell? What? What is it that you? Yes, believe? we believe hell and heaven are conditions. That's right. Heaven is exactly. rulership so on the planet. Right. Earth, hell is law. On the That's go. right. Read it. Spirit, we're going to get that. Give me uh, Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 8, verse 16. Read it. Bring it out. For the woman shall the ache in verse 29. Bring it out. For whom, whom he did foreknow. For whom he did foreknow. Yes. Me God did right know us. Yes. Read on. We he also did. Yes. Yes. We agree with that. Read this. He also Same did predestinate. So guess what? That kills free will. That's right. That's the point since you said we got free will. But how do we have free will if everything was already predestined? That's right. Sister, happened, listen, bro. I agree with you. Them same people were just slaves again. Them same people were just slaves again. No, oh, sis, we only went into slavery on ships one time, sis. That's the point. Show me another time in history where we went into slavery on slave ships. Who did Moses say then? Who were those people? These are us right now, sis. So that's but did we go in? That no, we went through seven major captivities, but we only went on slavery and slave ships one, one particular time. time. Right, right, right. We were enslaved right. more than one time. So yeah. you can, Listen you to can, me. You can, You're trying to dominate the conversation. I agree with you. That's Bro. right. Trying to make it about a ship. It's not about a ship. We, Since, I'm talking about it. It is because that's right. identifying markers to show right. us who we are. That's you right. may get it, but some of our other people right. may not get it. That's right. Right. Read this again, huh? For whom he did for no. I am talking. No, listen to me, sis. Teaching, and, and that's the difference in there. This is going, the difference. We're commanded to teach how the Bible commands us. Because guess what? This teaching is not just for you, but it's for everybody. That's right. That's right. They don't have to, sis. We're just teaching for a witness. That's so right. when you're before the judgment of God, God, I didn't know I didn't have to not wear pants. Right. God, I didn't know I didn't have to keep the Sabbath. Sister, you allowed? Because he got the brother Peter Nia out there teaching you that. That's, that's what you gonna get with that war. War, Jeremiah 51 and 20. Battle axes, God's weapons of war. We don't battle axes, God's weapons of war. We on the corner and we ready for war. And I know you ain't seen nothing like this before. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war.